Welcome back to Geiselsberg for the final episode with me, Mr. Silly P. Okay, we are just about to start the final harvest on Geiselsberg. We did manage to get the Lexium back, as you've seen. Thank you very much, Jeremy, for organising that. Uh, we need to open this up. All of our cornfields are ready to go because we've gone through an entire another day. Would you believe the gods were not smiling on us? Um, it was pouring down with rain the other morning. Horses have all been exercised, animals all checked over, everything's looking good. Um, but we have gone through an entire another day and it just rained and rained and rained and rained. So we are now ready to harvest. Um, we do have a full pallet of eggs. I do also have now three bales of um, wool rather than just the one and a bit that I had the other day. So Dave, um, there will be three wool pallets coming to you, but we'll sort that later on. I need to get cracking on this. We've got a lot to get harvested. We need to get 210,000 litres off of all of our fields. That's the plan. That's all we need to achieve by the end. Um, once I get to a point I can set the worker off and let the worker carry on doing this, um, I will then do all the other peripheral bits and bobs that we need to get it sorted out. Um, we've leased an animal trailer, so we'll go down, we'll sort out the horses. Um, I'll take the egg pallets, we'll do the wool, um, and hopefully then finish this off. And that will be us complete very last time here on Geiselsberg. I've liked this map. I, I'd like doing subscriber contracts. I know it's not everyone's cup of tea. Not, I know not everyone likes it. Um, and I is a bit of a minefield. I said that right at the start. Trying to juggle everything. And you always know right at the start you're not going to be able to do everyone's. Um, and it's difficult when you when you get sent in 15 bailing contracts. You, you can't do 15 bailing contracts because, you know, realistically people watching will just get bored of watching bailing and you know that's the reality of it I mean the, the reality of YouTubing and that kind of thing um, so you just kind of pick the bits you can do actually you know what I'm saying we're not going to we're not going to 5,000 litres already and we've only haven't even done one strip blimey okay maybe we are going to be alright on this okay so I will see you in a little while we'll let this carry on here uh, when we're done here we'll go and do field 1 and 2 then we've got to transport this down and we'll do field 45 and then uh, we'll see how we're at how we're at where we're at if we're doing okay um then we might not need to do the final field if we're not then we will do the final field we'll just see how we are when we get there 
This thing is still a classy looking bit of kit. Oh, that was <laughs> that wasn't intended. Actually. <laughs> Saying that, um, never mind. Right, we're back down at the uh, chickens. And oh, there's a bit of mess tied up. I'll sort that in a little while. Um, we ran out of space. This filled up completely. It finally did. All four pallets filled up completely. And we've got another box down here on the floor. So what I'm going to do is grab that. Hopefully this will strap down. Might not, but we'll see. If we're lucky, we will. <laughs> Typical. Let's just bring that across. And then do that. Awesome, put another couple of straps on, one there, and one there. So Jason, these are going to be winging their way to you. Um, I did say about splitting the load half and half, but the deal was one load to you, then one load to me. Well, this is a full load, we didn't get a second one. So, that's all done. That's a lot of egg boxes, isn't it? Fantastic. Took them a little while to get to that point, but that is a fair amount. And when I've only got a hundred chickens, um, I didn't go for a bigger pen. Just used the one that was already here on the farm. But um, that's absolutely grand. That. So we'll sort those out. I'm um, going to go up to the main store to grab the um, livestock trailer. I'll bring that back down with the fence. Oh, the money has gone up. I said it was going to go up a huge amount, didn't I? Um, because uh, we got paid 231000 for the silage that went off the rod. Uh, we got paid for all the various different hay and all the, all the things that went off in the last episode. So the money's gone right up. But one thing we do need to do is pay for the fence because we had it on a kind of lease uh, type deal um, they managed to sort it out for us we had a bit of an upgrade done on it on the proviso that as Papa Farms we were going to buy it so um, we need to do that so we'll just I have to check out what they're going for obviously it's a second hand unit that kind of thing um, and we'll, um, we'll pay for that So, uh, yeah, I'll see you in a minute. We'll come back down with the trailer and we might have made the payment for this, for the fence. It's one of those things I didn't want to forget to do. Okay, we paid just now about 172 grand, I think we just paid for the, the uh, fence. Eggs uh, and egg boxes have gone. We're now coming down to collect the horses. Now we have four. Three of them are for customers. One is mine, but I think we'll sell mine. I think that's probably the the plan. So we've got Molly and Susie for Big Papa C. Uh, asked if I could raise, train and prepare two horses for him. And I would get 20% of the sale price, so two horses at 50 grand. That's 100,000. I'll get 20 grand. Um, and then there was um, Brian's horse for his daughter, uh, who hasn't been well. And um, it was for a 15th birthday present. And like I said, I'm sorry if it's a little bit late, but better late than never. It's a fantastic gift. And he was willing to pay 75 grand for a well raised horse. Um, so, uh, well raised? I don't know. We'll have to see. Um, so we have got uh, wrong one in here. Uh, Molly and Susie are in the other one. They have a big pop of C. Both worth fifty grand. And then we got Constable, which is my horse. And then we got Guinevere. Um, so we must have just load them all up. Load all four. We'll send them on their way. Let's open the cover.
So, Constable and Guinevere going in. They're heading off. So, Brian, the horse is on its way. Um, owner and main contractor of P&O Enterprises, no less. So, close that up. And then the two for Big Popper C will be going off. Actually, you know what? While I'm here, I'll do that first. Let's get these on their way as well. We nearly have a full trailer of 45,000 litres of corn already. The harvester is nearly full again. That big header, I went with the... Um, what did we go with? It's the uh, Capello HS16, is it? It's the big one. Because I knew I had quite a bit to get done, so it made sense to go with that. And Molly and Susie are going in. Confirm. Close that. Cover on. And away we go. So, don't know why I bother closing the pens back up. There's nothing in them. Off we go. Horses are leaving us too. Right, so this will be the first full load, um, and there's a few odds and ends on the ends that need to be sorted out. But we're about two thirds, three quarters of the way across this field. This is going to take another 10,000, 9,000, something like that. So there'll be a load more still on board on the harvester, but I'm going to put this into storage at the silo at this far, at uh, this silo at the top here. Um, just to save me going backwards and forwards too far. Assuming, of course, the IT runner will go under because the trailer wouldn't go under with the truck. Um, so this is going to storage there. I'll continue, then we'll move the harvester along, go to fields one and two, and uh, we'll crack on with that. Hopefully have it all done by lunchtime. Beacons off, pipe in. Where we go. Right then, off up to the sheep farm with the little trailer. Gonna grab the wool pallets. As I say there are three full ones and there's a little bit left, so we'll put all four on the trailer. Don't be going to Dave. There we are, just here. really weird how they seem to take a long time to do one pallet. Then the space of just about 24 hours, I got two and a bit, which seems a bit weird to me, but I'm not knocking it. It's, well, it's what I needed, but... There. Pretty much. Done. Turn that off. Lights off. Straps on. 
uh, there, and then there, and there. Awesome. Right, Dave, they're heading to you. God, get everything wrapped up. All very nice and neat and tidy. It's one and two. Let's go with it. We got 60, 66,000 litres off of the first field. Um, the trailer has got. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to. I'll put it into the silo. There's no point in bringing over 11,000, then I can't get full load off here. On my way past, I might as well put it into the silo. So the first 45 went into the silo, and then there's 11,000 in the trailer, so we'll do that. Thing I just said. We had 45,000 litres went in. I've got 17,000, nearly 18,000 here in the trailer, and there was 11,000 in the harvester. I th why did I think it was 11,000? Um, the whole time I'm saying that, there's 11,000 sitting in the harvester as I started to harvest. Um, so, yeah, that's 18, 29, on top of the 45, 60s, close, 77,000, nearly, eight, yeah. I'll map it. But you forgot about the trailer. I, I saw the number on the harvester and I don't know. I got confused. So let's have a look now and see what we've got. Uh, where are we? Yeah, seventy-six thousand eight hundred seventy-three. Was there something in the harvester? Am I losing my mind? No, there was 11,000 in the harvester as well. Oh, okay, well. Did we have some corn in here before? Oh, we probably did, didn't we? Anyway, right, over to field one and two. Let's clear that. I'll probably see you in a little while now. Once I've done one and two, we'll have the harvester down on whichever field's next. Hopefully heading towards our... Uh, 210,000 litres I'm concerned now I thought we'd do it easily but yeah we should do ok we've got our money for the horses and it suddenly dawned on me we've got a perfectly good harvester sitting in the barn so I just whizzed up to the store leased a new Holland corn header so while the Lexians get on with 1 and 2 we can get with field 45 down here and if we get done with 45 then we can crack on with the other one but um, it, I just I couldn't. I don't know why it didn't dawn on me before. I thought, yeah, we'll use the Lexian. We'll get a big harvester, and then uh, completely forgot about our own one. It seems a bit crazy, really. So let's get going down here. This is one harvester I would happily use all the time <laughs> on every let's play. It's cheap, good capacity, I don't know, I like it. But there are loads of brilliant harvesters, I must admit. Seems weird the horse is not being there now. Every time you come past.
Okay. Both harvesters are now empty. All the fields have been cleared. We cleared everything we had. It just made more sense. It was a lot easier. Last 15,040 litres. Split between the two silos. This is the last bit going in. Up to now, we've got 279,864 litres with another 15,040 going in. We're looking at 295? 295,000 litres, roughly. Yeah, 295. Um, Wicket Clown wanted 210,000 litres. He was prepared to pay 30 cents on the litre on top. Well, the current price at the moment is, is 584 up at Baywa. So if I work that out roughly, 210,000 litres comes in at about 122,000 at the base price. So if he's putting a little bit more on the litre, we could be looking at 150 grand. Um, so when that pays out, we are going to take Papa Farms over a million. We are just under 900,000 now. Add 130, 140, 150,000 on. Um, and we're looking at over a million. That's a good way to be leaving the farm, isn't it? So I'm going to do a bit of tidying up, put some vehicles away, a bit of maintenance and repair, bring the harvesters back. And then I think we're going to be saying goodbye. We'll be heading off to pastures new. So... I'll see you in a minute when we've tidied up. That was uh, quite a job, actually, I'll be honest. I'm, I'm glad I put the second harvester on that because it was taking quite a while. And we were at 1.9 hours uh, on the Lexian. Had we gone up a fraction more, we would have got clobbered for another hour's worth of leasing fee. So we were quite lucky, actually, that we didn't, didn't go beyond that. So that's all good. Um, like I say, I'm going to do a bit of tidying and I'll see you in a bit. Okay, uh, first full load of 45,000 litres going off to Wicket Clown. I will be heading off. Uh, the rest will be dispatched by the uh, helpful farm workers here at Papa Farms on Geiselsberg. I'm just going to close up the last of these. Where's the light switch? <laughs> oh, there we go. Fantastic. Enjoyed this massively. Thank you to everyone that contributed. Contributed, whichever way you want to say it. Um, all the ideas, the subscriber contracts, the people that really got into the spirit of it, the people that uh, enjoyed watching, the people that incorporated it into their own Let's Plays, you know. Thank you. Uh, absolutely fantastic. I'm going to use the new road. This is going out to Baywa to the cell point out there. And from there I will head off. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. This episode, the Let's Play in general like i say we're off to past just new and i haven't actually decided where i'm going to go yet uh, this will probably be posted saturday now and i mentioned on my sussex farm let's play that i'm away at the weekend um and this time i'm not taking my playstation with me there will probably be no or there probably won't have been a mod review on friday um and there won't be a video on sunday um but normal service will be resumed um yeah if you have enjoyed it, this episode, the Let's Play, give us a like. Crops have grown across our road. That's not good. Go around there. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.